everyone. I am Dr. Milind Sidhapura. I am one of the course coordinator and also a lecturer in mechanical engineering at Engineering Institute of Technology. Uh, and I am actually based in Perth in Australia. And uh, I am quite passionate about mechanical engineering subject areas, a lot of subjects areas including hydraulics and pneumatics. So today I am actually going to demonstrate a hydraulic rig today. It's an oil hydraulics rig and that rig can actually be, perform basic uh, operations. Now, hydraulics have a lot of applications in the industry. Similarly, hydraulics have applications not only in earth moving and agriculture, it can be used in manufacturing, in even aircrafts and, and lots of machines actually use hydraulic systems. So what I'm going to show you today is a hydraulics rig which is here. But this is a very specific rig which is actually uh, quite useful for students and even instructors to understand the basic of hydraulic system. So I'm going to show you first of all step by step all the parts, the components, then how they are connected and finally how does it work. Okay, so starting with the very first component here, we have a hydraulic tank or reservoir. The tank has hydraulic oil in it and here you can see uh, not, it's not very much visible but it's a strainer, a filter at the bottom and it actually filters all the oil before going into the system. So when oil actually goes through this line, it goes into a hydraulic pump. This is a pump which is driven by an electric motor. So when electric motor turned on, this oil goes into the pump and pump then circulates the oil into the system. From the pump, as you can see, and the oil goes to a throttle wall, which is more like a junction wall in the middle and it can actually throttle oil you can change pressure of the system and from that throttle wall you the oil goes into a gauge which is a pressure gauge so the pressure gauge has you know pressure showing in megapascal and also in psi which is in red and the system would work at a certain pressure only Below certain pressure, the hydraulic system has a lot of inertia. It might not operate if the pressure of the system is very low, which we will see. And from that particular gauge, the oil goes into straight into a direction control wall. So it has got four ports and those four ports are connected in three different ways. So that's depicted in a symbol here, which is not very much visible, but with the manual hand lever here you can actually control the flow either on one side of the cylinder or the other side of the cylinder and uh, let me explain you that one so oil goes from this dcv or direction control wall straight into the hydraulic cylinder but before hydraulic cylinder we actually put one more wall which is this another flow control wall or a throttle wall so oil actually goes in here so that you can actually control the speed as well so this controls the direction in which oil goes and this controls the, the speed uh, and it depends on how much flow it is flowing in the circuit so oil goes in here comes out from here and then it actually goes directly into the hydraulic cylinder through DC direction control wall so once the oil enters into your hydraulic cylinder, it has a piston cylinder arrangement in it. So the piston cylinder arrangement, the piston actually gets pushed by this hydraulic oil. It goes forward and you, you will be able to see that this particular disc or the end of the road gets extended up to certain limit depending on how big the cylinder is. And when I actually turn this manual handle lever in the opposite direction, it actually flows in an opposite direction and oil goes onto the into the other end, opposite end of the hydraulic cylinder and it would basically retract the road back into the double acting hydraulic cylinder. 
so this hydraulic cylinder is called double acting hydraulic cylinder because it has got two pressure ports so the extension is through oil pressure and retraction is also through oil pressure so that's why it's called double acting hydraulic cylinders so now i'm gonna show you how this hydraulic rig works this little hydraulic rig i have turned on the power as you can see the light is on the electric motor has turned on and pump has started circulating oil into the rig and oil is going from here and returning from here back into the tank now everything is connected and as you can see the pressure can be adjusted in this pressure gauge uh, with this one so if you keep it less than very low pressure it might not work so i'm setting it to at least 0.8 megapascal which is over 120 something uh, megapascal so once that's turned it into at a, at a limit of 0.8 megapascal and all of this was provided you know in a flow now you should be able to see how does it work so on this direction control wall I, I told you right that this changes the direction in which oil goes into this hydraulic cylinder so if I do twist it towards left hand side you will be able to see this piston going left to right it means it will extend in that direction so let's see so it has fully extended when I tilted this lever towards left if I tilt the lever towards right it would retract from right to left let's see it Now this rig, particular rig, uh, you can actually change the speed, the force of your hydraulic cylinder by changing certain valve settings. For example, if you increase the pressure, it can generate higher force, right? So if you want to dig, for example, in a hydraulic machine, uh, lift a big object, you can increase the pressure to increase the force. If you want to increase the speed of this cylinder, just need to increase the flow control wall you increase the flow and it, the speed of the hydraulic cylinder gets increased so with that that's all about this little hydraulic rig which i demonstrated today i hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you